Yo, what's going on out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with another brand new GTA 5 online money glitch. It's not completely brand new, but this was resurrected. It's another facility dupe glitch that was, yes, indeed, unpatched, all right, with the new update. It's found by K Glitcher, and it's pretty freaking easy, all right? It got some really good views. I posted this on Xbox a while back. I think it was a month or two ago. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing the glitch on PS4. If you guys on Xbox want to see how it's done on Xbox, I'll leave that link down in the pinned comment, okay? So I did Xbox last time, so I'm going to do PS4 this time, okay? So like I said, founder of the glitch is K Glitcher. You really don't need much for this. All you need is a facility with a retro custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping. Remember, Benny's vehicles only in your facility. Just have it parked anywhere. It doesn't really matter. And uh, you need custom plates, though. That's very important. You want custom plates on that car that you're duping, all right? The one in the facility. You need one friend, and it's really easy what your friend's got to do. It's super quick, and I'll show you how to be the most efficient with your friend. And uh, a 10-car garage or whatever size garage you want, but you want it to fill it up with RH8s or Fagios, okay? That's very important because we're going to be overriding them, all right? You still need custom plates, but we're, we are overriding Fagios or RH8s. All right, so what you want to go ahead and do is I recommend go ahead and go into your facility alone and then invite your friend through the interaction menu. All right, that's probably the best thing to do. Maybe not at first, but I know after once you guys get glitched out and stuff in the facility, it's definitely a lot better. So shout out to my boy Shift here for helping me out with the video. Now, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to run over to the retro that I want to duplicate. Okay, so remember Benny's vehicles only guys. I still hear people asking if they can dupe deluxos and stuff. Guys, you cannot dupe any other vehicle. You can dupe them, but they don't sell for anything. All right, they barely sell for anything. The most the most money you'll get for a duped car is the LG retro custom. Simple, plain like that. Okay, that's it. Just accept it. <laughs> now, once my friend is in the facility right now with me, this is my facility. I'm going to go ahead and hop into my retro that I want to dupe with a custom plate on it. He's going to go ahead and press pause, go to online, and start up a titan of a job. Okay, he's going to go to the jobs, just start up a titan of a job. It'll take him up in the clouds. He's just going to sit there in that job right now. All right, so on PlayStation, what we're going to do is go ahead and join him through the party. Hit join session, tap R2 three times, accept this first alert as quick as you can, and sit on this second alert for around... 30 to 50 seconds, I would say. Okay, you want to just sit on this second alert. This is why we did the, we did ugh, we did this in an invite only session. Okay, because on on PlayStation we get this private alert, nice and easy. Now, the, while we're waiting on this alert, I'm gonna explain something for you guys on Xbox that are still here watching this video. If you look at my Xbox video tutorial down in the pinned comment, you'll see that what your friend actually has to do is back out of the job. On Xbox, we do not get a private alert if you're joining a friend through the friends list or through the party or anything. There's no private alert. All right, that's only on PlayStation. So on Xbox, the way you would have to do that is actually spam on join game, get out of that dashboard, and then tap right, tr right trigger three times, and then accept the first alert. And right when you do that, you tell your friend to back out, all right, of the job. And then you sit on the second alert. Okay, so that's the only difference is on Xbox, your friend actually has to back out of the job. On PlayStation, your friend can just sit in the job the whole time. It's completely fine. So after 30 to 50 seconds, you want to go ahead and accept this alert. Xbox, you'll be accepting the unable to connect alert. You should spawn down under the map like you see me spawning right here. All right, if you've done that correctly, just go ahead and press right trigger R2 and drive a little bit. All right, just drive a little forward. Eventually, you'll start falling under the map and you'll spawn on top of the map just like that. All right. Hop out of the car the way you know it worked for sure. Look at the mini map. I have no personal vehicle icon for this car on the map. That's how we know 100% this works. Now tell your friend whether he's backed out of the job or not or still in the job, whatever. Tell him to stay in your facility. Your friend must stay in your facility until you save this duplicate. Okay, that's very important. So I'm going to be driving over to Eclipse Towers where I have a full 10 car garage with some RH8s that I can dupe over. Okay. Now, I recommend with your facilities, I know I actually have a six-car garage that's right in front of the facility right there. I just haven't bought it on this account, but I'd probably recommend buying a garage over in Blaine County that's closer to your facility so you don't have to keep driving over to the city every single time, okay? That's probably what I would recommend highly, all right? But as I'm getting there, I should be getting there, you know, momentarily after I, you know, crash into a few cars and whatnot. But yeah, closer garage to the facility would probably be best, okay? So here I am at Eclipse Towers. I have three garages in here, so I want to go ahead and get out and make sure 
that the garage I'm driving into is the one with the RHA. Okay, that's very, very important, all right? And it's gotta be full, guys. This has to be a full garage. So you see right here, I'm gonna look, and then Eclipse Penthouse 1, okay? You see I got a bunch of retros in there and a few RH8s. So I'm just gonna run in there, go into Eclipse Penthouse Suite 1, and when I go in there, all I'm simply gonna do is grab an RH8 and drive it out. Now, once again, you could use a Fagio. If all your Fagios are in here, you actually don't even have to go in the garage. You can just call up the Fagio through your MC menu and you know call it outside right there. But you have to make sure you're calling one from this garage, all right? Don't mess up and call one from another garage because then it won't work. So as you can see right here, I'm gonna drive out this personal vehicle, which is an RH8, and look, the other one is still out there. That's how you know it's not a personal vehicle yet. It's just a dupe in the session. It's like a streetcar almost. So now go ahead and drive your retro into your retro dupe, I should say, into that same garage where you pulled the RH8 or the Fagio out of, okay? And this is pretty much the glitch, guys. This is one duplicate done just like that. So watch what happens when we spawn in. Look at that. <laughs> they dupe right in front of your eyes, all right? One of them does disappear, so don't get too excited. You won't have two cars in there. But yeah, as you can see right there, it duped. That's where the RH8 was. Now I have a retro custom. And guess what? That retro custom is actually the original one is actually still over there at the in the first slot of my facility. OK, so now that you've saved the car, your friend can actually exit the facility. I recommend your friend exit the facility every time, to be honest with you. Kind of helps out with the glitch. So now to get back to the facility really quickly, we want to make this as efficient as possible. You see this job right here, hunting pack five. That's right next to my facility. So what I'm going to tell my friend shift here to do is start up that job. All right. He's going to start that job up. He invited me through the session. I accepted it. Now, as I'm joining in, he's actually just going to go ahead and kick me right out of the right out of the job. So you see that you've been kicked from the job. Once he's kicked me, I'm actually going to spawn right next to my facility at that job marker. So you see that nice, easy, quick way. I had some trouble finding a car here, but it's a nice, easy way to get back to your facility without having to drive all the way there just to make this quicker for you and your friend. All right. So you don't have to worry about driving all the way back and forth. You can obviously, you know, completely avoid that if you just get a garage right next to your facility. But that's how you do it if you're using a 10 car garage that's in the city. Okay, so now that I'm in here in my facility, I need to go ahead and invite Shift back into here, okay? Now, I recommend your friend leave after every dupe. Leave the facility because it can be really glitchy and this car might not come back until your friend actually leaves, okay? So as you can see right here, there is the retro dupe or there is the retro that I'm gonna be duping. Remember, custom plates, guys, very, very important. You need custom plates for this glitch. Dupe glitches still work without custom plates, but that doesn't mean when you go to sell the car, you're not gonna get dupe detected. With this glitch, if you keep duping cars with the same generic plate, you will get dupe detected, I promise you. So here we go, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna join him in Titan of a job. We're gonna tap R2 twice, accept the first alert, sit on the second alert, okay? You wanna make sure your friend starts that job from inside your facility. And remember, pause online, go to Titan of a job and start there. Okay, that's very, very important. We tried just calling Simeon or Martin or Gerald and starting up a mission like that. It didn't work any one of those times, okay? Did not work at all. So we found that using Titan of a job actually worked every single time. Maybe that's just a PlayStation thing, but I know on Xbox, I'm pretty sure I was able to use a Simeon job. But like I said, this is more of a PS4 tutorial. You guys on Xbox, just go down to that pinned comment. My old video has almost 10,000 views. That one is the one you wanna, you wanna watch if you're on Xbox, okay? I explain it very clearly on there, just like I do on here, just for a different console, okay? I like to mix it up. I don't like to pick favorites or anything, all right? So now after waiting 30 to 50 seconds on that second alert, I accept it. And then look, I'm under the map as normal. Just go ahead and simply drive forward. All right. Just tap R2 or right trigger a few times or hold it. It's up to you. But you just want to drive forward a little bit and then boom, we're spawning right on top of the map. Get out and look for a personal vehicle icon. If there is none, this is a brand new duplicate right there that just spawned out on the street for you. All right. So same as before, simply I'm going to fast forward way faster, twice as fast this time. But we're going to drive over to that 10 car garage that has the RH8s in it or the Fagios, whatever one you want to dupe over. And um, yeah, guys, you can completely avoid this with a closer garage. Honestly, I'd recommend it. I just kind of forgot to do it before the video. But as you can see right here, we're at Eclipse Towers right now. Just go ahead and hop out. I know which one I need to go into, which garage. It's Suite 1. So I'm going to go ahead and just step in Suite 1. And you'll see that I still have the other dupe that's over there that I just got in this video. Should be a Spot 5, which is on the left. So you see that? It's still there. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Spot 10 and drive this one out. All right? 
I'm going to go ahead and just simply drive it out, and you should, you should still see the old retro there, right? The retro dupe that spawned out on the street without a tracker. All right, there we go. It's right there. Just hop out of your RH8 that we're going to be duping over, hop into this one, and the garage must be full, guys. If your garage ain't full, it's not going to work because you might spawn into a different spot. Okay, the garage needs to be full. So as I drive into here, you see this retro is actually going to go into that 10th spot where the RH8 was. If the garage isn't full, it might not go into that spot. And it dupes right before your eyes, hop out of the vehicle, and you have your dupe right there. Perfectly saved. You don't even need to drive it in and out, all right? You don't even need to do that. It's perfectly saved. Go outside, have your friend start up that job, teleport you back over to the facility. Boom, there you go, all right? Nice and easy, all right? And if your friend has the same facility, you can do that. If you have a Lester text to your facility, you can use that, okay? Bunch of different ways. So that's going to be it for me, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take advantage of this glitch while we still have it again. Uh, shout out to K Glitcher once again for finding this. Um, you know, if you're brand new to the channel, please, please subscribe by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Road to 25,000 subscribers. We are almost there. Peace out, guys.